This guide shows you how to copy files or folders to a USB stick for use on another PC. Or, if you want to, you can back them up. So, first of all, move your mouse over this yellow folder at the bottom of the screen. If you don't have a yellow folder at the bottom of the screen, click on the Start button just in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, and then move your mouse up to this folder just here, and then left-click once. OK, a window now opens. Move your mouse over this PC just on the left here and left click once. Now, keep an eye out on the screen whilst you're plugging the USB stick in for whatever appears. So at the moment here, we've got local disk C, DVD drive, M drive, Z drive, as you can see here. Um, but it's around sort of this area here we need to look out to see what appears. So let's just plug in the USB stick. That's just plugged in, and hopefully in a second something should come up. And there we go, Kingston E, and it's come up down the bottom here, Kingston E, select what happens with removable drives. We'll just ignore that, but make a note of Kingston E or whatever's appeared on yours. Obviously on your computer, everybody's computer's different. Yours won't be Kingston E, so whatever appeared, write that down. Okay, because it's very important because this is where we're going to need to send the files or folders to. So, next thing we need to do is we need to go to our files or folders. Now, if it's a document that we've done, like a Word document or a spreadsheet or something like that, then the chances are the file will be in documents here. You might have saved it on your desktop, but probably you'd saved it in documents. If it's something you've downloaded, then it'll probably be in the downloads folder here. So click on whatever folder you need to go into. So let's just double click documents. And I'd say for instance, I wanted to copy the Christmas card list onto my USB stick. Now I'm copying this, I'm not moving it, I'm creating a copy. So at the end of the day, I'll end up with a copy still on the computer and a copy on the USB stick. So move your mouse over the file that you want to, uh, to, to copy to the USB stick and then click the right mouse button. That's the button on the right hand side of the mouse. Click that once. This menu will appear. Move your mouse across and down to send to. Now, this is the bit where it's important that you've written down what appeared on your screen. So in my case, it was Kingston E. So I move my mouse across and down to Kingston E. You'd move your mouse across and down or up to whatever appeared on your screen, because it won't be, I can guarantee you, it won't be Kingston E. So, and then left click once over whatever appeared on your screen. And there we go, that's now copied to my external USB drive. I can check this by clicking Kingston E down here, and you can do the same by clicking whatever appeared on your computer, click that, and there we go, Christmas card list is there. Now, if I wanted to copy a whole folder, say, of, of photos, then I'm gonna move my mouse back up to this PC, back here, left click once, okay, and my photos are in pictures, so I double click pictures, okay, and say I wanted to copy this whole folder called France 2018. So uh, let's just go into it, just see, yeah, there's pictures in there. Okay, that's great. I click the back button just here to go back a step. And like I say, I wanna copy the whole folder. So I move my mouse over the whole folder, click the right mouse button, that's the button on the right hand side of the mouse, move it down to send to, and then across or up and down to whatever drive appeared on your computer earlier. In my case, it was Kingston E. So I left click Kingston E. So there you go, that's now copied onto, uh, onto the USB stick. And again, I can double check by going down to my name drive just here, left clicking once, and there you go, France 2018. I can double click that, and there you go, there's all my pictures. Now, if I want to unplug the drive, I move my mouse down to the arrow just down the bottom here, left click once, move my mouse over this little icon just here, and click the right mouse button, that's the button on the right hand side of the mouse. And I'm gonna move my mouse up to, as you can see, you've got Kingston E there, which is named my drive. Just above it, I've got Eject Data Traveler. So I left click Eject Data Traveler, and there you go. It says safe to remove hardware. Now in some cases, this doesn't happen first time. You might get a message coming up saying it can't eject the drive. 
just keep trying. It may take three or four attempts to do it, but just keep trying. If you still can't get it to eject the drive or come up with the safe to remove message, best thing to do is shut your PC or laptop down, wait for all the lights to go out and the fans to stop spinning, and then pull the drive out then. The fear is if you pull the drive out while the computer's running, it could be the virus checker might be scanning it or something might be happening on the drive and you might corrupt the data. So anyway, hope this guide helps. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel. Just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.